Praise the Lord, everyone. Thank you so much for joining me again. Yesterday, we had finished talking about、uh, Genesis chapter 1 through 3. And I hope that you had a moment to just kind of briefly skim it over and、uh, give it a read. I think when you read it, you can understand what I say when I say that chapters 1 through 2, you can really feel the peace of God. Just in, in those verses, in, in the story of creation, It just, you feel and you can experience that peace and you can get a glimpse of what it might have been, what it might have been like. Then in chapter three, you, you can feel that shift also. You can, you can suddenly feel a dynamic change where that peace is disrupted. The moment that Adam and Eve chose to eat the fruit, the moment that they had taken that, the bite out of that fruit, Was the first time that they felt guilt, they felt shame, they felt that their peace was disrupted, and they also felt a loss of inner peace. They had allowed sin to enter, and it caused a shift. This decision impacted the world and humanity as we know it until today. I want to start in Genesis chapter 2, verse 15. It says, Then the Lord God took the man and put him in the Garden of Eden to tend and to keep it. Adam was given the Garden of Eden to take care of it. He was given the garden to work in it. He was going to、um, work with the animals, he was going to work with the plants. But all of his work was done with peace, all of his work was done without any pain. But he let sin enter when he did what God commanded him not to do. And that comes from verse 17 of chapter 3 in Genesis. Then to Adam he said, Because you have heeded the voice of your wife and have eaten from the tree which I commanded you, saying, You shall not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for your sake, in toil you shall eat of it all the days of your life. Both the thorns and thistles it shall bring forth for you, and you shall eat the herb of the field. In the sweat of your face you shall eat bread, till you return to the ground, for out of it you were taken, for dust you are, and to dust you return. You know, Earlier in chapter 2, verse 9, we can see that God made all of the trees available to Adam. Everything was pleasant for food, everything was good for food. And amongst all of that was also this tree of good and evil that God said, You can have anything, everything except that one. And it was The access to it was still available to him, but he was commanded not to access that one and not to eat of the fruit of that tree. But as soon as he decided to go against what God had told him, there was now going to be pain and anguish working. And it was going to affect how he worked in the garden, where once he worked in the garden, it was peaceful, it was joyful. He interacted with the animals, he interacted with the plants, he interacted with God. Now there was a dynamic shift and it was going to be pain and more, more of a struggle. And he said the same to Eve. To Eve, he tells her that I will, in verse 16 of chapter 3, I will greatly multiply your sorrow and your conception. In pain, you shall bring forth children. Your desire shall be for your husband, and he shall rule over you. Again, this peace, even between the two of them, between Adam and Eve, is now disrupted. The work of Adam and the work of Eve become different, and they become one that's going to be laced with pain. And that is such, you know, you can feel the weight of it when we read it. When, when you see how sin greatly impacted Adam and Eve. It just, you can, you just know that it's almost like it wasn't worth it to lose that peace, to lose that, to lose that connection with God, to lose that connection with creation, with their work. It became a heavy weight to bear for them. I want you to meditate on this if you can tonight and into tomorrow because I want to explain a little bit more of how. This weight and this burden was placed on their shoulders, and sometimes how we too can almost do this to ourselves. This is, we are talking about the peace of God, and I just want to talk a little bit about that disruption. But at the back of your mind, I want you to always remember that Jesus came to restore peace, and that is our greatest hope, and that is our greatest treasure, and that is our most beautiful blessing. 
So meditate if you can tonight and into tomorrow, and we're going to continue our discussion. May God bless you.